Okay, YouTube, here we go again. Try this again, uh, this part eight. Uh, hadn't really done a whole lot since the last one. Got through with the siding. Um, still got the drop cord going. I've got to uh, figure out what to run as far as uh, what kind of wire I'm going to use. I may just go with a heavy D drop cord and put it underground. Got to go up to here, which is about probably 100 foot. So, anyway. Okay, let's go on the inside. Okay, I did manage to get some lights up, so let's see what we got here. Okay, here we go. I got this one over the back bench. And it's four lights, and then one up here, which is two lights. I believe I need to go up maybe some more bulbs on this one. They're a little bit weak. Okay, let's see. Like I said, I'll just go over a few things that I, how I put this together. Uh, okay, like I said, I copied some of the ideas from the other guys on here, uh, like the pool noodles up here to uh, seal up the cracks. That worked pretty good on the top. And the way I put my pallets together was pickets. I cut pieces of pickets and tied them in together. And the corners, this is some pieces of scrap wood that I cut to give it extra support. And it's plenty sturdy enough. We're not going nowhere there. <clears throat> like I said, I hadn't run no outlets yet, but uh, I may just stay with the drop cord in this box. Uh, probably for the time I'll be in here, uh, that'll probably just work fine. But like I said, Got plenty of storage, and uh, all in all, it's 12 by 12, and I think I may have maybe $400 in it max, if I've got that much. Uh, still got a little, little work to do on it, but I'm pleased with how it's turned out so far. Like I said, it's just going to be a shop, and uh, somewhere to keep my tools and piddle around back here on the back bench when I need to. Uh, still got a leak issue in the back, just a small leak. I'll eventually figure out where it's coming from or maybe redo the whole top. I don't know. Maybe go over it with some more tin. Anyway, okay. Thanks for watching.